Hi, I'm Jerry Shields, your 2K21 golf course superintendent, and this is video number three of my golf course construction series. Today we are going to continue with some rooting, and we are going to try to place the last nine holes of my new course, and uh, maybe clean up a little bit of what's going on in the front night to make it a little bit easier. So here we are back at the construction trailer. I've put in the first nine holes or what I think is close to the first nine holes and uh, I've took a look at it after the last video and there's still some tweaks I need to do uh, having a little bit of a challenge getting possibly a tenth hole out in an 18th hole back in and I think part of the reason is actually uh, my third and fourth hole. See how number three comes up kind of close to the clubhouse but not really at it. Well, that kind of cuts off any type of path I can use going away from where the clubhouse is going to be down into the course to get off into the back nine. So I think I'm going to have to tweak that a little bit. But uh, I did the layout uh, for the first nine using uh, trees kind of to, to simulate that realism. I'm going to go back in today and I'm actually going to remove the trees to give us a different look here for doing the back nine and show you how it can be done that way. And uh, we'll see how, uh, how train can help us. So let's go back in here the settings for trees and we will take many trees and reduce them down to none. There we go. And now we have no trees. So we are going to go back to editing here. There we go. So now we can see our front nine much easier. But like I said, this little pinch point here of three to four is giving me a little bit of a headache. I kind of wanted a, a par three, uh, or sorry, a par five for my third hole. And I'm not quite happy with how it's coming back towards where the clubhouse could be. So, so for example, if my 10th hole and, and my, my 18th hole are say going to be, I'm looking at say between 450 and 500 yards. Let's just take a look and see how that looks. So uh, we've got one and nine coming off this side of the clubhouse. It would stand a reason that we can bring up, uh, you know, let's see here what we've got. If, if the 18th hole is to come back in here, then we've got a bit of a challenge there. That's only 300 yards. And so if the 18th hole, we need 450 yards to go back and forth on 10 and 18, we need to be starting out somewhere back over here which means my third and fourth hole would need to be set up a little bit differently. So, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I, I think that I am going to just kind of keep that in mind. I might take my third and fourth hole and push them out uh, farther towards the perimeter so I can get a, uh, an 18th and, and a 10th hole back up towards the clubhouse. So, so let's see how that looks first off. Uh, before we start building the back nine. So the third hole here, I, what did I, I was going for about uh, 350 yard par four, I think was the plan here on the third hole. Let me just change this to the hole look. Yeah, I've got 357 yards. So let's take this and move in a different direction. Keep my one end up back over in this general direction. And we can see we've got some train. We've got a bit of a lake there. So I don't think that that's going to be too hard. So let's grab our waypoint and we are going to move that waypoint over to somewhere around 300 yards this general direction and we're seeing we're going up over a hill and I don't want to have a blind shot. I got a bit of a gap there. I might be able to make use of that and put this out somewhere in the neighborhood of, of 300 yard-ish. That works well and I wanted to kind of have the green playing or playing up to an elevated green so I think we can still kind of pull that off. And there we are with, with 295. We're going, and we're pretty well level, so I think that's a decent waypoint. So let's go back over here and grab the green now. And these are the type of things that you do when you're rooting uh, your golf course. You, you really keep on kind of nudging things around. Nothing's perfect. You kind of, you're going for a theme, but you want to make sure that it is... Uh, you can actually get the holes all laid in a, in, a, in a logical sense. This would be a pretty hard carve to the left here to an elevated green. Kind of what we're looking for in a way. Let, let's tap that up in there. And that'll give us a 350 yard. What do we got? 373 it actually says. 
a little bit longer than what I wanted. Let me just bring this waypoint maybe back a little bit. 350 would put us somewhere back in around here. Still playing to a little elevated green site. Yeah, we can we can make that work. And then we're going to play a fourth hole. And uh, I had a par three planned for the fourth hole. And you can see that I've got it way over here. So this one's going to have to be moved all together. So let's go up here and grab. Uh, we have to end up back over towards that fifth tee. Keep that in mind. So let's grab this tee for the fourth hole. And we're going to bring it back over to wherever the green is here. There we go. We're heading closer to the green. Keep in mind we want to, we want to have something that's going to work for us. There we go. So if we climb the hill a little bit and we play, yeah, I think we can see a nice little par three. I don't want to really use the pond yet. The pond might be something we're going to consider for the back nine, but I'm, uh, I want to play, I, I could probably build that hill up a little bit or I could start up up in the hill here. Let's, let's look and see how this is going to work. So let's start that T up there. We're looking at uh, about a 240 yarder downhill is kind of what I'm shooting for as far as this par three and we're gonna show so let's put this at about 250 and like I said we're gonna try to keep it away from we're gonna try to keep it away from where I know the the 10th and, and 18th might end up playing here and I can see that I'm going downhill, not a lot here, but a decent amount. I'm going to want this to play about 240, so I'm just looking for kind of lowish spot here. There we go. Yeah, so 225 back over and about here. And then I need to go get the green site and move it back and give me my 240 yard par 3 here. Somewhere in that neighborhood. So there's the fourth hole. Now our fifth hole, we had started way over here. So this may change the look of the fifth hole. Fifth hole, we were going for something, I think in the neighborhood of 455 yards. We have 450 there. And remember the road was in the way. The road might not be in the way now. Uh, so let's see. If we end up on the hole there, this is definitely changing kind of the look of how this is going to play out, but I I uh, didn't intend to totally rebuild. So then nine, 10 and 18 can kind of come out in through here. And 5 is definitely going to have to play a little bit different here over the water possibly. So let's grab this waypoint. We're going to bring five back over here and we're going to keep it. Uh, we're going for 455. That means we need to bring this back to about 300. So clearing the water. Water's not really going to be in play there, I don't believe. And then that means we need to bring back this point here and five. We're going for about a 455 par four. So that puts us into here. We'll see how this lake's going to come into play. We might be able to still use it. Got a little bit of a area there. It looks nice for green. So there is the fifth hole. In the sixth hole, we are going for 180 yard par three. So we're going to back up the sixth hole. and tee off we got some elevation there we can probably play it down around that pond this might get kind of interesting let's see what kind of visibility we have to the pond from up here we may have to raise up something a little bit maybe from over in this angle coming from the T let's see how this is going to play out we like I said we're looking for about 180 yards part three so let's grab this waypoint and bring it over here to about 160. Yeah, this is going to get interesting. Yeah, we're going to play this down. Where do we want that green to be on that pond? Playing across the pond, probably over to about there. 
where is 180 yeah this is gonna work out really well I think and then we're gonna put there we grab that green site for hole number six and put it across that pond and give us that 180 we're kind of looking for All right something like that so there's our part three and then we need to get hole seven to play out towards there and we have a plane across and the hole seven was kind of getting messed up with nine i kind of like moving this tee box and uh so let's see here we'll play to the green site may bring the road over a little bit actually in behind this so i'm gonna play this i think nice little hill there might be able to lift, pull some earth down there. And we're going to play this that way. Now I think hole number seven, we were going for kind of a 450 yard par four. So let's move this over 300 yards. There. And I think, I think we're at 420. We had to add about 30 yards to this, so let's go for that play down along that line down the hill and the green site will probably wiggle a little bit but I think we want this a little bit longer so that's fine we're gonna play across there and we're gonna move this T back just a little bit come off that green site and we just want to be careful. We don't want to bring people back into the line of play when they're teeing off there. We want people to go from the green back over to the tee. So that gives a little bit of a downhill look, I believe, from that tee. Yeah, it does. Up there, we got a turning point uh, to a higher green. And then we've got 8, 9, 10. Sorry, 8, 9 in. So we've kind of cleaned up this middle area. Uh, which was giving us a little bit of a headache and now we can get down to adding the back nine So let's say our tenth tee. That's our ninth green coming there People are gonna go up through the clubhouse have a little bite to eat and then we're gonna play down And I just want to keep in mind. I want to figure out my 18th hole here. I want to make sure that I've got what's well, my 18th uphill 465 might be a nice target so if my 18th green is going to come up and play somewhere let's see here that's nine that's the first tee 18th green right here we kind of can make a nice stadium look to it i might be able to juggle first tee over a little bit actually and put the 18th green somewhere nestled down into here and I was saying 465 and that would put my 18th tee way back here somewhere back in here so that means I may need to tweak my second hole that might make actually that interesting let me just leave this marker in here um, going for a 465 how does that look playing off this hill yeah I like this I'm gonna play down and then back up for my 18th for a strong finishing part four so I'm just gonna leave that there is what I know my 18th is going to be and then I'm going to tweak what I've got here in place for these two holes so my second hole I was going for about 575 par 5 and I'm going to have to tweak this oops get back over here get to this waypoint specifically there we go so we're trying to make this 575 and we're gonna have to wait to get around the t-dex right so 575 puts us very interesting near that pond okay okay so like that and then what I'm picturing is 
a green site there we may have to bring people up and around the back of 18 to get to the third hole so that's going to move the third hole we're going for 355 so let's see how we can make 355 happen here playing from over here 355 would be somewhere out in there so I think I think that's reasonable we're going to play across that pond down to a landing spot and that gives us a chance to tee off from up here yeah I, I like that I really do if anything I may even move this waypoint a little farther over and then I picture a cart path that then now heads around the 18th tee connects us over and heads down the third hole so there's there's my 18th hole I'm pretty sure like I said that first tee likely going to juggle that a little bit over gives a little bit of space there play it down it's gonna be an interesting first hole I really wasn't going for that much of a, a deadly first hole but uh, I may reverse the nines too I may have to take a close look at how my back nine looks and that's another option you have is you you can always do that as well so let's get down and add in my next hole create hole and I want to play a 10 so my, my thinking is that's 18 which means 10 is gonna head off down in this general direction and downhill let's do almost 500 yards since we're going downhill and I think we can if we picture where we're gonna have some parking maybe a driving range just trying to get that fleshed out here we can always move it around but let's go for 10th somewhere over here and we're going for 500 yards in this general direction that would be there and our 300 down wow down a hundred feet this would be really interesting with the water let's put our 300 yard marker let's see how this looks for terrain so we're gonna play down we got a valley off to the left and right we'll play down that ridge line and balls may want to kick a little bit let's put our 300 yard we know that people are gonna have a a choice here as to how risky they want to sneak up to the water and then we're going to play across and make this almost 500 yards somewhere between those two holes and I think that works really well to play somewhere in and about there 495 looks like a nice spot there's our 10th hole so our 11th we'll make another par 4 let's go 505 yards in this general direction do we have 500 yards we should we may have to go out here yeah there's a nice hill in behind that green so how far is 505 nicely done it's going to take us down into this general area that we don't have any holes Oh, nice risky shot with some water. We can probably play with that a little bit. So, yeah, I think that that would be really well. So where do we want this first shot to go? Do we want the dog leg this? Do you want to leave it straight in? We right now are, are playing downhill a little bit. Our 300 yard mark for our drive. So we're going to play up and back down to a green site. which means our waypoint might be a little bit out here or do we want to save that pond for a par 3 that's going to be next um, if that's the case we play it out through this valley 300 yards downhill a little bit so we play there and then push this off we could probably play uh, 505 say what do we got for a green site here 
Oh, there's a nice green site up top there. That's really nice. So let's go somewhere in there. There's our green site. On the top of that hill falls off very sharply to the back. Now this is calling it a par 5. I want this to be a 4. So... Did I not put the waypoint? I did. And I want to modify this whole setting here. I want this to be par 4. So that's how you do that. Okay. So now I want a par 3. What if we... We took out some earth here, we created kind of a river or, or water here and played our par 3 across here, par 3, nothing too long, but a little deadly, 150 yards, and we tee off on the back side of this hill. We don't want it to be too much about elevation, but we want to be able to look down on it, so let's, let's try going in here, and let's see how far that is. So we want about 150-ish. So we're a little short, so we'd have to, like I said, take that pond and bring it over kind of into this hollow here. I think that'd be pretty easy to do. And play par three down in towards here. Let's bring, if we bring the water there, there's 150. I think that would be really deadly. So 155, let's say. So let's make my, our turning point there and we're going to go out to 155 somewhere up there and let me just show you what I'm thinking about there with that par 3 so we're going to make a little bit of do some earth moving here we're going to do a little bit of sculpting and uh, going to get our fuzzy brush and see how this plays out we're going to make this bigger we're going to take it down quite a bit And there we go. And I think we got a, la a natural low spot that goes over towards, yeah, right there. But I think we can do this type of thing. There we go. Now we'll clean that up with time, but uh, uh, we can clean up right there. So there we go. So we've got ourselves a nice little par 3 over water. And uh, we can make that a little bit treacherous. So now we are we're kind of in no man's land here we are having to now give us 13 14 15 16 17 we need five more holes and we want to end up back here and we could go out and across Five more holes. Interesting. We may have to play down towards the bottom end of the property, I'm thinking, to get us back to where 18 is. So, uh, let's go with a short par 5. 510 yards. And let's see what that looks like next. So, 500. So, if I'm teeing off here, what direction can I get 500? yards with a really dangerous reachable par 5. Well there I've got my answer. Water both sides. I think we can make something really really scary there. Um, we could even dogleg it around with some trees. Yeah I think that that's I, I like that so or we could dogleg it this way around here bring them out and bring them back in and have the T start a little bit farther back play here play out to a turning point a dog leg out there and then back up around the back end of this pond so let's let's give that as a nice reachable five that's gonna have a lot of danger around the T so create holes and our little par 3 is there, so our next shot is going to come, I think, somewhere around here. 
and we're going to tee off and go down about 300 yards so we got some holes there so our, our, our we're going to put a little bit of fill here I think we don't want to play towards oh that's just the marking that's the edge of the marking that's not a problem so 300 yards puts us a tricky little landing spot and then the reachable five is going to dog leg us really hard over water something like that what do you think um, 510 even would be nice we can almost see kind of a green site in there a little short that's a really sharp dog leg And you have no option to cut it because you got water there. What if we dog leg it the other direction? And we got water again. And if we took it down into here, we would have, for playing out, no option to take the dog leg, but we can play it longer. What if what if our trees are so tall right here that we we have to play it out and then we can come back in? So you're playing your second shot into some danger, but you've got some options to play it shorter. So the trees are right about here. Yeah, I think that works. That puts us out about what are we? Let me get back here and uh, we're to the T. Yeah, about 285 yards, and we could make it play, if you played towards danger, you get a straighter shot in, shorter shot in because of the dog leg, or you can play safer, we might put a bit of fill here. Let's go with that, I, th I think I like that, except I'm not sure I like the full length of this yet, I think we need to, this is hole number 13 playing, it says it's playing 582, and I don't want it to play that far. Let's see if we can bring this back to about 510. Something out in there. There we go. Yeah, that kind of works. We play it out. We've got, uh, I'm going to put some fill in here. I'm probably going to move this waypoint now over a little bit. We'll fill that pond a little bit, if not completely. You got the option to play it straight out with some safety, come back in, clear the water, risk of water on the left, lay up spot on the right. I kind of like how that looks there. So we'll go with 13 as a bit of a short dog leg left. Now we need to get 14, 15, 16, 17, four more holes to get us back to this point here, which is our 18 T. And four more holes. Where are we going to put four more holes? We can't play there. We could technically play a 17th hole down through here. 400. Um, we do. We could put a 17th hole there. Are we going to play 440 ish? to green we don't want to be back into play it'd be it'd be tight or we play 14 15 16 17 so 14 if we do a par 4 15 we'll do a par 5 Let's take it this way and see if we can make it work. So 14, great hole. We played to this little tricky spot here. We're going to play down. There's a bit of a valley I can see right there. So let's take this sucker down there and play this down 440 roughly. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's play down here for 40 with a bit of a risk of water long. Eh, I don't think we need to actually. 440. Up into here actually. So we'll go back 300 to our landing spot in that valley. Play it out here and get us this hole. We, can, we probably might have to tweak these a little bit, but we'll see. And then we're going to play a one. Let's go a one. The 15th hole. So now we want to do. Let's do a par 5. 16, 17. We got to really be careful because we're trying to get back to 17 is going to have to play this way, which means 16 is going to have to be out here somewhere, which means 7, sorry, which means 15 has to play the opposite way here. If we would have taken 14 that way, we could have went out here. Then we could have had a 15th hole that played out towards some water here. So maybe we got this, maybe we got this 14th hole in the wrong spot. And uh, let's just kind of think about this a little bit more. Let's take this 15th, 14th hole. We're going to take it up on this hill here. And we're going to take it the other direction. Again, this is, this is exactly what rooting looks like. It is trying to figure out what... We've got a little bit of a low spot. We're going to flirt with some water there at 300 yards. And what we're we going for at 14? I was going for 440. spot right there a little bit of a hollow there we may have to fill it but uh, interesting looking stadium look to that spot or we can play it up to the top of the hill I don't want to make a blind shot in which would be likely the case there I don't have too many sharp dog legs but we could dog leg this right and take it there. Still gonna have a blind shot, I think. Let's go into there, into that hollow somewhere. And we'll, we'll we may have to tweak this hole a little bit, but let's give us somewhere in there. And then that fifteenth hole. Let's have a, another fairly short one. Let's see if we can send something out there. Five hundred and thirty yards. Yeah, somewhere off in there, I think we can get one. 530. Let's see, we're there. We're going to come back in. We're going to tee off down a nice view across the water. There's no holes in the way. If anything, we could bring it over here a little bit and play. Yeah, somewhere down in there. Nice high spot. We're going to try to get this out 530. Let's see what that takes us to. Yeah. Exactly. 5.30. That'd be a little bit long. We could move that pond a little bit towards us. We don't want to get in the middle of those holes. We still got to make a, a few more holes. We got to make a 16 and a 17 still. And the 17 is to end up back over that direction. So. I'm thinking playing towards that pond. I'm just a little bit hesitant. Let's let's see what the train looks like. So we play it down off the tee. How's that look? Uh, kind of flat-ish. Let's see. I'm going to put it up here. A landing spot. I'm going to shorten this a bit. So I'm going to go landing spot here. And I'm going to play it down towards the water here somewhere. That might be a nice little view there. Let's play it down towards there. 
but I'm going to shorten this because I only I want this to be reachable. Uh, 300, another 230. So yeah, about 540. I think would be nice. So I'm just going to take this and shorten it. I don't want to put too much distance between that T. Still about 20 yards long. Likely going to move that, bring that pond in that little bit of a hollow there. Let's see if you can see there's a little bit of a low spot. I may put this, make the danger on this hole if you're long. So let's go 540 as a hole length somewhere up into here. And then I can already picture a nice little, yeah, I think that's going to work. A little par three, one way or the other, I think we're going to play a par three, probably across here, something that's about 170 yards. So we just got to figure out where the T is coming from. Yeah, probably from this side. Let's see if that works for distance. I don't want to get in the way of what I'm going to play back to 18, right? So I'm almost better off to come over here. And I'm going to bring the water up into here, right? So I'm going to maybe have the T over even as far as here somewhere. And I want something about 170. So that's going to work really well. So we're going to throw it out here about 150. 170 with water yeah I like that so we got a par 3 and then our 17th hole going for kind of just a 450 yard roughly par hole we know this is the 18th tee and we've got space to run one through here now I think yep so let's play this once we play the green to there we can get up on this hill and we can play 300 yards, so that green site we want to avoid. We've got a hole there, so we're going to play up in here somewhere. We want to end up about 440, right? So we're going to be a little long past the T site for 18, so I may even back this up a little more. And there's a high spot there. Let's go from back in here. I'm going to go down here, 300 yards. Really, the water is not going to be in play. I'm going to play it across the water up onto this ridge line. That's kind of a nice shot, I think. And then, then we'll turn this a little bit. Maybe we'll turn this to the. We don't want to be near that hole. We want to stay between these holes, right up under that ridge, and then go. I want to be out there about 440. That's a nice little hole there, actually. It can be a nice view from that hole up on top there. And our 18th green is back over there, so I think we're safe there. That'd be kind of nice being up there. You might be able to see a few of the holes in the distance up on the top of that hill. And then that means our 18th hole then comes back over here and tees off. So we got a tee set there, a green site there, and we don't want to be in the line of play, so we want to come down here and tee off from somewhere in here and play it down our 300 yards to our turning point if we really wanted to we could bring that water into play and dog leg it right we are right out in here somewhere yeah i think that kind of works we might mess with people a little bit there probably going to be a nice landing spot there and bring us up and I think we were looking for you know a 465 ish type of hole somewhere in that neck of the woods where's the green site maybe gonna sit in there nice view from the clubhouse depending on where we put the clubhouse that might be a nice spot there and that'd be a par four now let's see what we've got on the far right here see if we got a any holes that are not properly done so we got four threes four fives we're coming at 7500 yards which is kind of the target and uh, there's that and so now let's go back to our settings and just let's throw some trees back in and we'll throw all the trees back in 
and there they are and then what I'm going to do next for settings is I'm just going to go back in here so now I'm going to take my rough settings remember my heavy rough I had set at 20 feet let's go out to like 50 feet here and I'm just doing this because I want to just take a look at these holes and see how how they look and how they fit in with each other okay so let's go back to edit and see how we look here so first hole coming down from the clubhouse you can see we're playing down this hill a little bit of a pond just for interest sake it's not really in play we're going to hit this we got a bit of a slope left to right with a pond on the right side a little tricky for what your lie is going to be coming into a green that's a little bit higher we're then going to turn and play our second hole we're going to play it from a little bit of a hill here and we're going to play it down relatively level but then we're going to go downhill towards the landing zone bit of water we're going to play across we're going to see how we're going to do with this pond but we're playing it across and down into uh, a bit of a hollow on the other side of the pond so that's not too bad as a par five I'm just going to change this view here and then par number three we go up and around the 18th hole like I said we're going to be careful we route the cart paths here we may have to cut in front of the 18th and then we are going to play a number three is a par four relatively short we're going to play it down to a landing zone across the pond a bit of a hollow and then play up to an elevated green we'll see if that's going to be a blind shot par four is a par three going to play downhill and how far are we going downhill with this one 40 feet downhill not too bad and then number five comes over here we tee off across the pond to a landing zone, another little bit of a, a dog leg. I'm not sure if we have too many dog legs, we may have to look at that. And we're playing back up to a green nestled in there. Hole number six, we play across. Oh, a nice little par three, gonna probably take some earth out there, come across the pond, and we're gonna have a dangerous little green across the water. And then number seven is playing here across the road. We may have to move the road, we may have to play with this a little bit. And we're gonna go down the hill across the valley back up onto this little bit of a ridge line play across possibly across another valley up onto the green and then number eight is going to be a par five fairly long we play it down towards the water with with the danger long up to that little valley across the other side of the pond and up to a nice little elevated green location that's going to be a pretty hole i think number nine to get back to the clubhouse we're going to play from an elevated green down across a bit of a valley up on to we're going to start going uphill on number nine uh, but once we get to this point here uh, the green is still 50 feet up uh, fairly level actually that tee shot and then we're going to play uphill up into this spot here and then number 10 we are going to the other side of the clubhouse we're going to play a downhill shot water long on the drive then play across and up to green fairly long par four same thing with the 11th hole playing 505 yards probably our longest par four gonna play through another little bit of a valley probably gonna be some bunkering in this one to, to mess things up and play over to a green uh, that is almost level with the tee number 12 is gonna be a short little par three across water and we might just extend the water a little bit still and make that really interesting and then we're going to go to number 13 which is going to play oh interesting hole here so we're going to play a par five out probably put some fill in this pond here to give long as an option but the longer you get uh, the less uh, forgiving the angle is going to be coming in we'll have to play with that a little bit still um, and see how we want the water's edge to line up there because we do want you know the closer you tuck it to the dog leg the probably the easier the line and so we're gonna have to see what that shot looks like from over here when we clear some trees and then we're gonna go on to the 14th hole which is a par 4 standard length there but 440 down towards the pond on the right side and then back up to another green and a little bit of a hollow doing some earth moving likely on the approach there for sure 15th hole is gonna be a par 5 reachable at 540 you have to play it out along the valley and then play into the green and we do have water long so we'll see here uh, 
be interesting to see if we can get some water right around here as well to make this really interesting. We may we may actually bring the water in here on the green and, and bring it up a little bit in front, but that's just me talking it loud until we get there. 16 is a short little par three playing across the water with the green on the other side. 17th is gonna play us uh, from up on this hill back across that same pond up onto this little ridge line that's gonna turn and go into an elevated green that's gonna have a really nice view. You can see some of the other holes in the distance there. So I think that's gonna be really nice up there to be able to look around and see some surrounding holes. And then finally, our last hole is going to play from an elevated T down towards some water. We're gonna see how much danger we can put the water in there. We may even bring the water into this spot here just past the landing. And then we're gonna play it up to an elevated green with the clubhouse coming into a view as we approach the final green. So, so that is uh, the second nine rooted. You see, I started out by cleaning things up from the front nine. And, uh, and then after that, uh, it was just a matter of uh, finding my way in and out of the clubhouse. So, so I hope this was helpful for you. If I go back and take a look, you can see that I've tried to squeeze almost all the holes inside that box. So that's a fairly realistic sized uh, golf course. You can see I did go a little bit outside the box here uh, with a couple holes, 13 and 14 and 15, kind of go off into the southwest corner, as does Dewey in the northwest corner. But to not too bad, we didn't make a lot of use up in the, the northwest part, part of the course. And there's a bit of a gap here in the center which is kind of interesting because I think we might have our driving range location, right? We can come out to here and we can have a driving range right down into this area in a practice facility. So that might work out as well. So anyways, that's it for rooting back nine. I hope this process has been helpful. You can see how taking the trees out can be helpful. Putting the trees back in can really give you a feel for how the hole is going to look. And, uh, and I guess the next step we're going to have, is we're going to start going in and actually um, looking at how each hole might start looking as far as fairway shape and start thinking about strategy. Uh, right now we just want to worry about getting holes that fit on the property, making use of the natural features. Next step is uh, really thinking about how that hole is going to be played. So hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you liked it. Give me a like. Uh, definitely always looking for questions down below that I can help you out with your own designs. And uh, or if you have any questions about my process, then I'm more than happy to help you out. So take care everybody. Stay safe and bye for now.